Hi, Tile from Interfidelity here. We're going to talk about the Bayer Dynamic DT880 headphone. This headphone comes in three different flavors, the 32 ohm, a 250 ohm, and a 600 ohm version. <clears throat> Uh, the reason why they do three different impedance headphones here is to try to make them suitable for various applications with the 32 ohm for portable use, the 250 ohm for general purpose use, and the 600 ohm for professional and high-end home use. Basically, uh, the 32 ohm headphone is designed to be easy to drive uh, and to achieve a louder listening level on portable players. I kind of have a problem with that uh, because portable players have relatively high output impedances. Uh, an eye touch is about 32 ohms, uh, and these headphones are about 32 ohms. What that means is that they don't have a very good damping factor, the damping factor of one in this case. I found with uh, these headphones that um, using them with portable players they sound somewhat confused uh, and um, really it's sort of like taking a good headphone and making it a lesser headphone just so you can use it on a portable player and I kind of don't think that's a very good trade-off um, so uh, in the end I don't recommend these headphones I think they're uh, kind of expensive for what you're really getting in that case the 250 ohm headphone is a very good sounding headphone. It's a, a little bit bright, way up high. It's a kind of a tizzy sound and uh, uh, has a very nice sense of air and depth to it. Um, and the bass is nice and strong, uh, not overly so, uh, but lacks a little tightness. It seems to be a little bit loose. <clears throat> um, because the bass and the highs are fairly strong, the mid range seems a little bit recessed. Still, um, these are one of the three uh, headphones around $500 uh, that uh, have been around a long time. The DT880, the AKG K701, and the Sennheiser HD600 and 650. Um, and they competed fairly well with these being the headphone that was sort of on the uh, fast side. Um, I like these headphones. I think they're pretty good. Uh, um, and good for general purpose home use. The, um, when you plug them into a portable player, they do get loud enough to uh, listen to adequately, but I wouldn't say they could be driven to very loud levels on portable players at all. Okay? So they're, they're okay on a portable player, but, um, uh, but sound much better than the 32 ohm version off the same player. The uh, 600 ohm version um, is a little bit cleaner sounding than the 250 ohm version. Again, this is because the 600 ohm version will give you a better damping factor with the amplifier. Um, if you're going to be using these headphones for uh, only on home gear or relatively high end gear or professional studio gear, <clears throat> they're, um, uh, uh, they're pretty good um, uh, in this price range. Um, all of the headphones are uh, very comfortable headphones. Uh, the pads are nice, soft uh, velour pads. Um, uh, been around a long time and deservedly so. Okay, well, thanks very much for visiting today, and we'll see you next time.